Now, since the patch, it's been very hard to get a pass rush, an effective one in Madden 19. A lot of people are asking me, man, hey, I need a good blitz that you can give us, man, while you're working on Pinch Dog, because I'm working on Pinch Dog still, but this one right here should keep you guys going. Uh, if your opponent's in third and long or third 10, fourth and 10, if they're going for it, man, uh, I want you guys to start running this blitz. You run this blitz. This should be your main blitz you run on those downs anyway. Okay, just don't spam it. Just use it when you need it. This is your ace in the hole. This blitz is fire, okay? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the adjustments, and then we're going to take it into a custom competitive game. Uh, and then I'll be providing real gameplay during the week because I, I, I actually like this blitz a lot, man. It's going to be one that I run to. Uh, whenever I got my opponents back against the wall when they need yards, I'm going to prevent them from getting their yards with this play. And you're going to see that when we take it into a, a competitive custom game, it's going to come in on every set and formation. Now, I'm still I'm still labbing it before I take it into a real game because I got to make sure I'm one of those people that I have to get it down perfectly before I can execute it online. You know what I'm saying? So we're in the Lions playbook and we're in the nickel normal. Now the name of the play is right there in our faces. It's the Buck Slant Show 2. What we're going to do is we're going to flip the play and run it from the right. Okay. Uh, and then over here, what we're going to do is we're just going to come out Trey White Flex and levels out. Now the reason I use Trey White Flex levels out because this formation, believe it or not, picks up a lot of blitzes it is one of the best sets and formations to use to pick up a lot of blitzes believe it or not from a shotgun perspective uh so i use the levels out been using it for uh since madden 18 and that's what we're going to use now we're going to run the setup and then you know i'm going to go over it slowly the blitz may not come in because of how long it takes to set up the blitz because from what i understand setting up blitzes if you could do them all within a matter of uh, seconds your blitzes are more effective now i don't know if that's true could be a myth but i'm just sharing that tip with you guys set up your blitzes as fast as you can it seems to work a lot better but this play right here that i'm gonna share with you guys actually works better in game that's why i want to show it to you in com uh, custom competitive i have a friend that's already been running it and he says that the blitz is powerful online like i said i'm not gonna do the gameplay until i'm real comfortable with it right now i'm not real comfortable with it yet uh, i want to make sure that i can execute adjustments in the backfield just as good so the setup is simple it's baseline wire triangle left stick to the right and then we're going to press y or triangle left stick down for press next thing we're going to do is we're going to pinch the d-line left on the d-pad down on the d-pad and then slant them inside left on the d-pad right stick down last thing we're going to do is and what's cool about this blitz is we're going to bring blue we're going to bring quinn right here in the middle blue down into the box about right here okay what he does he actually has an effect on the blitz that sometimes not all the time You'll get a screaming a gap uh number 91 the defensive lineman right here this guy robinson uh he'll shed instantly and and he'll come straight for the quarterback because of this guy i don't know why i don't know how but after labbing for hours we've come to the conclusion that this guy actually has an impact so anybody that's working on blitzes try using your middle blue in the box to see if that helps you man with some of your blitzes okay now i'm not saying it's going to happen all the time but it was happened it's, it was happening a few times for us when we were labbing and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take this guy and I'm going to come over here on the edge and I'm just going to sit here holding the right trigger, snap the ball, and you're going to see that, you know, because I took long, it's not going to come in. This is why I'm saying speed counts. So we're going to baseline press, pinch, slant inside, bring this guy down like this, come back to the box, and then we're ready. Our blitz has been set up. You're going to see that the power of the blitz is actually pretty good. No one can block this guy off the edge. The running back actually has to pick up the linebacker, or sometimes he picks up the, the corner and then the linebacker comes through. But you guys get what I'm saying. Now, I'm taking long to set it up again. Base the line, press, pinch, slant inside. Bring this guy down into the box like this. And you're going to see, occasionally, you're going to get 91 coming off right for the quarterback. You see, he almost came through for the quarterback. Just pay attention because it's going to happen. The, the running back has to pick him up. Or if he picks up the corner, uh, then that guy comes through uh, straight for the quarterback. So base the line, uh, press, pinch, slant inside. Bring this guy down into the box like this come over here make sure you're like pressed up against this guy holding the right trigger snap the ball boom boom running back can't get both so like i say i recommend this on third and long fourth and long uh against your opponent so let's talk about the adjustments one more time slowly wire triangle left stick to the right for baseline wire triangle left stick down for press left on the d-pad down on the d-pad to pinch your d-line left on the d-pad right stick down for slant side then bring your middle blue down okay bring them down into the box that's going to help 91 come off his block. I don't know why. Okay. I don't know why. 
Uh, it might be a glitch. It might be something new. You see him, he's coming off, and I took long to set up the blitz because I'm explaining it to you guys. Like I'm telling, I'm trying to prove a point that timing is crucial in setting up your blitzes. For some odd reason, there's a ticker. I guess I don't know. There's a timer somewhere, uh, and it's it's seeing your adjustments, or maybe maybe what we're trying, what we were thinking, we were labbing this is that uh, maybe it's not counting all the adjustments. Maybe it's not counting all the adjustments. So as we do this again, you see number 91 just coming for the quarterback. If they don't, if they do this, like say he doesn't block his running back, right? Maybe he wants to use his running back. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes he'll break free instantly and just come straight for the quarterback. You're just going to get a lot of people coming off the blocks, bro. I'm telling you, it's just awesome. It's awesome coverage. But we're assuming that he is blocking her running back because, like I said, when I practice blitzes, I'm doing my most to, to, to try to use them against a blocked running back. So as we do this again, you're going to see that they cannot stop everybody. A blocked running back, if I, well, he's already blocked, I think. Yeah, he's already blocked. We're going to set it up, bring this guy down into the box like this. Pull the right trigger. The guy comes off the block and it's there. So what I'm thinking and what the actual theory is, is that there's, if you do your adjustments fast, like your moves aren't counted, your your adjustments aren't counted. Some of your adjustments aren't counted as an execution in the game. I don't know, I could be wrong, but if you take long setting up your blitzes, they don't come through. But if you do them really fast, they're more effective. That could be another thing. Uh, the middle blue in the middle coming down of the box is another thing. That's one thing that labbing for hours has showed us. So let's go ahead and take this into a custom game and just try it against a bunch of different formations. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna try this blitz on different formations in a competitive game. And we'll just come right out in the single back. We'll do, uh, let's do a bunch of base with a blocked running back. We'll do, uh, let's find a good one, man. Let's find something like, uh, I mean, we could do spacing. I guess it doesn't matter. We can do Seattle. Z spot, yeah, let's do, let's do Z spot. Z spot something that a lot of people would use. And then over here, we're gonna come to nickel normal, flip it. Now remember, doing this fast is the key. Remember that doing this fast is the key. So I'm already set up, I'm good to go. Remember, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting third and long. You'll see these guys just coming in fast. He won't even be able to throw it to the first down line, bro. You know what I'm saying? He won't be able to do that. Now on your coverage, I'd rather you guys leave your seams. Let's go ahead and try another formation. Um, let's do a single back wing. We'll do tight end attack right there. And then we're gonna flip buck slant again. Same thing, baseline press, pinch slant inside. We're gonna bring the blue down to the box. And then we're gonna stand right here, okay? Next to our guy. So you can see in, in, in an online setting, you'll actually be all right. You'll see this guy coming straight for the quarterback. And, and it's, it's just an awesome blitz, man. Uh, let's do this one more time. Uh, if you guys don't mind, we'll do uh, let's do something from gun. We, did, we practiced tray wide flex. Let's do stack wide flex. And I got to make sure that all of them are blocked running backs. Okay, they got to all be blocked running backs. There's Salem pivot right there. Flip buck slant. Face line press, pinch, slant aside. Bring my blue down into the box just like this. Now, you don't always have to bring your blue, but if you want to try to get that glitchy 91 blitz right here, you'll see that this guy comes in. So you have decent coverage. If you look at the coverage that's happening uh, on the back end, you have decent coverages because the cover three zoning logic, it's pretty good. You know what I'm saying? As we try another formation in here, let's do a, uh, let's do bunch and then we'll do something good. We'll do flanker drive. And then here, flip buck slant, baseline press, pinch, bring this guy down into the box. Like I said, you don't have to, if you're afraid, you can keep him out there. You can keep him back over here like this. Now me taking time with my adjustments, I probably ruined the blitz. Maybe not, because like I said, it's more powerful online, bro. This blitz don't play, uh, not online, but in a game setting. It don't play, the blitz don't play. It's one of the best blitzes in the game right now with those setups. Uh, what I'm gonna do here on offense though, is I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just kick a field goal and kick it out of bounds. Okay, this will be the last series I show you guys this. You guys see what's going on, man. It's just, it's awesome. We'll do double Y flex off. Got to just find a blocked running back. Now, I'm, I'm not picking a blue where he checks and goes because sometimes he just takes off. He doesn't care about the corner coming through. So we have to have like something like slants right here. And then we flip buck slant. Same adjustments, man. Uh, like I said, you don't really have to bring the blue, but just, I do it. It's me. That's me personally. And then we're going to snap the ball. 
we're gonna come over here and you'll see 91 actually gets the actual what I'm talking about where he comes off the block really fast you'll get that little glitchy blitz right there that happens let's do something else let's do trade open we'll do blocked running back blocked running back blocked running back no that one's not gonna work for sure let's do split offset is there a blocked running back on this one there's double blocked running backs that would probably be your best bet to pick it up let's try that we'll do saints go we'll flip buck slant baseline press pinch boom i'm gonna bring blue down right here and i'm gonna play this side right here we'll see what happens let's just see what happens you can see this guy actually still gets through on those running backs because they're not registering it as something they need to block I didn't flip the play, so this blitz might not even come in. But it might, it might, it might, it might. It's just I didn't flip it. That's my fault. Let's snap it. Let's snap it. Yeah, he's coming in anyway. So there it is, man. I hope you guys appreciate uh, the blitz, man. Use it sparingly. Just save it. If you think you can run it consistently, like on your homies or someone online, run it. But like I said, if you're playing against a good player, he'll see the holes in your defense if you consistently run this play. So save it, man. Use it wisely. Love you guys, man. Peace.